last way to graph a quadratic, and that is going to be graphing in standard form. Uh, standard form is the same thing as what you would have done for the quadratic formula. It's ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is in front of x squared, b is in front of x, and c is your constant. Remember that a cannot be zero. If a was zero, then you would end up getting rid of any quadratic that you had, and you don't longer have quadratic. So that's why that's always there. You have an axis of symmetry formula. It is negative b over 2a. Okay? Just like you would have done with the vertex, or sorry, not vertex form, the intercept form, this x is half of your vertex. So once you find this number, take that number, plug it back into your equation, and a y gets spit out to complete your vertex. And here's what I mean by that. And oh, by the way, I'm going to try to figure out as much information about this before we get any farther. Like, for example, since a is 2, I know what's going to open up. That's going to help out. Okay, so b is negative 8, and you got x equals, and again, I'm finding the axis of symmetry, negative b over 2a. So negative 2 over 2 times, I'm sorry, negative, negative 8 over 2 times 2. So 8 over 4, 2. So x is equal to 2. I'll just go ahead and draw that in while I got that there. To find the vertex, I'll go and I'll put, because that is half of your vertex, 2 into the equation. So 2 squared 4 times 2 is 8, minus 16 plus 3, negative 8 plus 3 is a minus 5. So my vertex is down there. Okay, now it's back to what we did with vertex form. 0, 1, and 2. That's 0, 1, and 4. Except for now, because I have an a value that's not going to be 1, I have to multiply my x squareds by that value of 2. So 0, 2, and 8. So I'll go 0, 0, over 1, up 2, over 2, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I think I counted right. You can double check that. And there is my parabola. Is it a min or a max? It is a minimum because it's a lowest point in that vertex. And the value of that minimum is always the y value. My range is y is greater than or equal to negative 5. And x, again, is all real numbers. Okay, uh, here... There is no x term, but that's okay, because if there is one, this a value is going to be the 1 in front of there. This is your c value. B is just simply going to be 0. So in my... Uh, let's get that expanded again. Sorry about that shaking, guys. So now in my axis of symmetry, x equals, so a, o... S, negative 0 over 2 times 1, well, that's just going to work out to be 0. So my x, y-axis is my axis of symmetry. And if I put 0, square that, you get minus 4. 0, negative 4 is my vertex. Okay, parent function again. 0, 1, and 4. Okay. I am going to make this table again, but my a value is 1, and if I multiply all these middle numbers by 1, it's not going to do anything for me. So I really don't need to do that anymore. So 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4. And if I use some symmetry, there's one block away, two blocks away, there's the graph of my parabola. I've got a minimum again of y is equal to negative 4. My range is y is greater than or equal to negative 4. And my domain is x is all real numbers. Yep. Back to the same thing. So axis of symmetry first. So negative is part of the formula. Negative 2 because of b. 
another negative two because of A, and don't forget about the two from the formula. So I'll, I'll put those two negatives together, give me two. Those multiply together is negative four, so I get a negative one half. Oh yeah, negative one half. Everyone's joy. Yeah, so a negative two, I'm gonna go negative one half squared, minus two times a negative one half, plus 12. This is one fourth, so negative one half out of that, minus, well actually plus, a one, plus 12. So plus one, plus 12, that's gonna give me 12.5. So x is equal to a negative one half, and this is gonna be negative one half comma 12.5, which is good because I knew this was gonna open down. My vertex had to be somewhere up there. So X is all the numbers. In my range, Y is greater than, oh, I'm sorry, switch is Y is less than or equal to 12. And I've got a max this time of Y is equal to 12.5. And that is graphing using standard form.